It's so exciting to be able to have Rem Coolhouse, David Janot and the OMA team working on the um, 2017 M Pavilion. Rem, of course, is one of the most highly respected architectural thinkers of the 21st century. His firm has designed and built some of the most incredible buildings all over the world. They're a multidiscipline approach architectural firm. They really are looking to the future. Their establishment of their research arm, AMO, is there to balance the actual working with the built form now and thinking about the future and how architecture is going to be in the future is extremely exciting from my point of view. And the M Pavilion really reflects the way architecture is going in the future. Naomi Milgram uh, is interested in uh, having an effect on uh, Melbourne. Melbourne is the cultural uh, capital of Australia. Um, and so therefore uh, it's uh, a, the right place to ad address many different uh, issues and to ask uh, many different uh, questions. And that's one thing I really like uh, about doing pavilions. You don't quite know uh, what will happen in them. Uh, they don't have a very precise program. But at the same time, you know that people will meet there, that you have to kind of promote the interaction between uh, people, uh, and that you have to make something that is uh, noticeable enough and effective enough to inject something in a city that wasn't there and that will also disappear. The M Pavilion is a place for debate embedded in the landscape of the park, uh, located uh, with its view open uh, to the city. Uh, it's more or less a roof uh, under which uh, we have uh, an amphitheater uh, that can uh, be transformed in different uh, configurations, very centrally uh, for performance, uh, but also a kind of by rotating part uh, of the amphitheater uh, fully open towards the city, uh, which creates different pockets uh, where different activities can play a role, but where also suddenly the park uh, with the city as its backdrop can be the scene for the activity and the debate in the pavilion. It's embedded in the landscape on purpose so that people see it come up from the nature in the park and, and where the main uh, structure is the grid structure that is above it, uh, which is a roof uh, that has all kinds of technical and fun possibilities uh, to support uh, the activity below. And then uh, the top, uh, which is the roof or, or the grid uh, that uh, we create, uh, which is the signaling element uh, of the project so that it captures the sun uh, and it captures uh, the light and therefore really signals uh, this is where uh, uh, you need to be. Uh, without being able to see uh, the density and, and, and the amphitheater uh, that is underneath. Um, I think uh, each architect in the world um, has, you know, no matter how remote, a kind of utopian uh, gene. And that part of the utopian gene is to want to have, if not change the world, at least to have a positive uh, effect on the world. And in, with each uh, new kind of project, you try to kind of realize a kind of part of a very large ambition into, you try to channel that in a kind of very small and specific uh, entity uh, to try to be very precise, but never to uh, lose that dimension of doing something kind of positive for the world. And that also explains both the kind of compactness, the simplicity uh, of the project, uh, but it's not without ambition. It's a kind of project that uh, hopes to uh, provoke uh, a real discussion about uh, what architecture can do uh, in a country like Australia. Uh, I was interested in the first time I was in Australia to, to notice it's a kind of almost perfect society, uh, but it's, it's lacking perhaps only in intensity uh, and what is uh, exciting and provocative is that uh, can maybe through a very small thing like a pavilion, you might inject uh, a certain amount of intensity. What for us is very uh, interesting is that we are not only involved in looking at the pavilion as an architectural object, uh, but that we are also discussing with the Naomi Milgram Foundation how uh, the pavilion can get a second life 
uh, after the summer, uh, but also how the programming can contribute to a 24-hour uh, life cycle, which we exchange with the foundation uh, constantly, which to us is uh, very exciting uh, as an additional ingredient uh, to uh, the pavilion. REM's articulation of architecture as a wrapper of activity is totally in line with what we're doing at the M Pavilion. It's a wrapper for all of the performances and everything that goes on inside the pavilion. And it allows us all, as a wrapper for activity, to be on the outside as well, which is part of the way we like to work our performances, our talks, our music, our engagement, and the public's engagement with the M Pavilion.